Hi y'all. We're not gonna act like I don't know that I look like a Tony right now because I absolutely do know, but there's literally nothing I wanna do about that, okay? I slept twice today. What time even is it? It's 9.46. I have a few things on my agenda today. And one of those things is to call State Form to cancel my life insurance policy with them because I got a better rate and I've had it for a year. I'm making some breakfast potatoes. Then I shouldn't have mixed it because those ones are, are basically done. I've had it for a year, but I just got a better rate because I had two. Now, I spoke about this before, and lately I've been on TikTok and I've been seeing a lot of people going in on this, and a white man had explained it too. And if we know nothing else in life, sometimes it's good to take advice from the white people. Okay? They be knowing. Let me see if I can put you all here so I can, I can snap. Maybe I'll sit here. So what the man was basically explaining is that it's good to have life insurance because when you die, your kids get the money there and then, and as we know it, funeral is expensive in New York. Oh my gosh, I look absolutely crazy, but let's just disregard that and listen to the information that I'm, that I'm putting out there, right? So I remember at the end of 2020, you know, when I was seeing the alarming number of people who were dying from COVID or just from whatever, people were just falling like flies, let's be completely honest. I was just like, um, I need life insurance. Especially because that was one thing that my mom always used to do, so I'm like, I need to get that. So I ended up getting two, Stay Farm and Nilco. And um, right now, I know a little bit more about everything. So when I'm going over it, I realized that the plans that I had last year were crap. Not with Nilco, but the plan with State Farm was literally crap. So I called just now to cancel it. And it looks like I called them too early. So I'm going to call them back at 10 o'clock to cancel it again. Because I ended up upping my plan with Nilco its whole life. Plus I have a few other things on there. Plus I have something for my daughter. I'm going to create generational wealth for my children even if it's after I die if I'm not able to do it while I'm alive which I'm really trying to something is gonna be prepared for when I die because my children will be okay okay fine so I did that and um, I spoke to the Milko representative today and um, it was today last night so I spoke to her last night, I got a really good rate and something that I'm really comfortable with, especially now that I'm a little bit more informed about everything. So that's great. Why did I, why did I do this? Yeah, so that's great. I'm very excited about that. So right now I just need to go stay farm so that they can cancel the plan that I had before because I'm not going to be paying $300 for two plans. And you know what the thing is for me too? Um, sometimes you're trying to save and you really don't be seeing the money, right? This way, that is essentially you saving and planning for when you get older without saving and planning for when you get older, if you know what I mean. But, you know, get life insurance. It's very important. And the younger you are, the cheaper it is because you get one rate and you're locked in with that rate for ever and ever or until you die, you know? But I just want to make sure that when I do die, my funeral expenses are covered and things like that. So my family does not have to worry. Okay? Okay. Moving on. So I have to do that today. I randomly decided that I wanted some breakfast potatoes. I just put some, this is my favorite butter, country crock. I just put some of this country crock butter on some um, cinnamon raisin bread. And I didn't eat that and drank half of my coffee with it. And it's one thing about me, when I start eating, I have to eat everything or I'm going to lose my appetite. So now I'm making breakfast potatoes and an omelet and I'm basically full. So that's great. I just felt like I needed that, but obviously breakfast potatoes could not cook quick enough. Aside from that, my apartment does this weird thing where if I, obviously the microwave and the stove are plugged in here. And then I have the electric kettle here. If I use the electric kettle and the microwave at the same time, <clears throat> it knocks the power out. And the breaker is not up here, so I have to text my landlord for him to fix it. So I'm waiting for that to happen. But luckily, this stove is gas, so it still works. But um, I'm just in the kitchen really chilling. Today is my day off, my one and only day off. So I definitely wanted to rest at least a little bit. Because maybe next week I'm going to be working six days again. From where I'm standing, that is a possibility. 
tomorrow when I go to work. I think I'm going to confirm that. But, um, yeah. That's what we're working with. Um, for the last month I had this lady on my assignment and Jesus Christ. Oh, people rarely ever give me a hard time where I just don't want to do anything for them. But that lady, I'll tell you, she really tested my patience this month. But, um, luckily for us, you're only stuck with the assignment for a month. And trust me, when you're doing an assignment that you don't like, a month is a long time. And it's not even that I don't like the assignment because everybody else on the assignment, I like the load of people. You know what I'm saying? Like, old people are my people. <laughs> but that lady was not it. But, um, yeah. I'm just making some breakfast. I'm chilling today. I don't have to go to the grocery store. I don't have to do what? Did he bring the laundry? <laughs> He definitely brought the laundry. Nothing to be mad at here. Um, so yeah. I don't have to do laundry. I don't have to go to the grocery store because last week I <laughs> spent $300 on groceries. So we're good. Um, but yeah, today is basically just a chill day. Watching TV, catching up on a few things. Ozark, oh my gosh. Ozark, so good, so good. So good is all I can say. So if you haven't watched it, you should. But I'm about to go.